What's going on guys? It's Brad with another product testing video on Keto Eats. So today's video is actually going to be one that I'm pretty excited about. Um, it gets another, it's another video with a lot of uh, questions on what's happening to my blood, what's going on when I consume exogenous ketones. So today I have a product from Perfect Keto. Um, these are, this is Perfect Keto's exogenous ketone base. So this is beta hydroxybutyrate powder form. Um, this is going to be one of the more popularly consumed exogenous ketones. And today, I'm going to check. I'm going to check my fasting blood glucose and ketone levels, and I'm going to let you guys know in 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes what it's doing. So when I do these videos, I ha I go at least four hours. Usually, I do them fasted for longer, but it's at least four hours since I've consumed anything um, in in any form other than water. So, so the fasting glucose is coming in at 4.6 millimolar. 4.6 millimolar today. Going to move on to the ketones. So the fasted ketone level is coming in at 1.7 millimolar, 1.7 millimolar fasted today. The nutritional breakdown is 25 calories. This is one scoop. Um, nutritional breakdown is 25 calories, zero grams of fat, uh, 645 milligrams of sodium, 325, or 320 milligrams of magnesium, 590 milligrams of calcium, with a total carbohydrate content being less than one gram, zero grams of protein. So this is, this is 11,380 milligrams of beta hydroxybutyrate. Um, other ingredients include natural flavor, stevia leaf extract, monk fruit extract. Those are two um, sweeteners and they're thought to be keto friendly. Um, I know it varies on certain people. I haven't seemed to have, have had a negative response with those sweeteners, so, um, but we'll find out. So the suggested use is, I normally use this in my coffee guys too, so um, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna use water. I'm going to use um, only water. That's not something I would normally put this in my coffee, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to use water. So the suggested use is as a dietary supplement, mix one scoop of perfect keto base with eight to 10 ounces of water. So I have 10 ounces of water measured in my blender bottle, and I'm going to put one scoop in there, and we're going to drink it and see what happens. All right, guys, so that's my first sip of uh, the exogenous, the salted caramel exogenous ketones beta hydroxybutyrate in a water mix. I gotta say, it's actually pretty good in the water. It's better than I expected. So I, I mix mine in my coffee. Um, it's one of the things that I do. I don't use exogenous ketones often, um, but when I do supplement with them, I do it in my coffee in the morning. So usually I'll make my keto coffee and I'll put some in there. Um, this is the first time having it with just water. So I was expecting it to uh, not taste great, but it's actually, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty palatable. So. so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'll come back in 30 minutes and we'll get our measurements. So I got my timer set for 30 minutes and I want to just let you guys know what I think about this. So I would normally use this as a coffee flavoring. Um, that's what I like to do. So when I make my keto coffees, I usually use ghee, heavy whipping cream, and then I'll use a salted caramel flavor or a vanilla flavor of some sort of product. Usually I use uh, like an MC2 oil powder. Sometimes I'll use the exogenous ketones. Not very often, but I do. Um, in coffee, I like it a lot. In water, it's kind of, it's got like a chalky taste almost. So it does have the salted flavor, the salted caramel flavor. Um, and again, like I said, it's, so my opinion now it's going to be a little bit skewed because I am drinking it with water and I feel like most people wouldn't do that. So most people are going to do it with probably coffee or, or some sort of other beverage. So, um, but for the sake of these measurements, we're using water. So in the water, it's not amazing, but it tastes, it tastes kind of like salted caramel. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes and I'll update you with my ketone and glucose measurements. Guys, it's been 30 minutes since I have consumed the keto exogenous ketone base. So I'm gonna test my glucose and ketone levels and find out what's happened. So the blood glucose has come in at 4.4 millimolar, 4.4 millimolar, 30 minutes post-consumption. I'm gonna move on to the ketone test. So my blood ketones have gone up to 2.6 millimolar, 2.6 millimolar, 30 minutes post-consumption. Ketones have gone up definitely in the 30 minutes post-consumption, which we would assume that they would, being that I just consumed exogenous ketones. So we'll see what happens at the 60 minute mark. All right, guys, we've reached the 60 minute mark now, so I'm gonna go ahead and check my blood ketones. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my blood ketones and my blood glucose and see what's changed. So blood glucose is coming in at 4.7 millimolar, 4.7 millimolar, 60 minutes post-consumption. Moving on to the ketones. I'm curious if we're gonna see a rise, a larger rise in ketones or if it's plateaued. So the blood ketones have increased a little bit more, 2.8 millimolar, 2.8 millimolar, and that is 60 minutes post-consumption. 
so far we've seen the blood glucose levels uh, stay relatively even and we've seen the blood ketone levels increase um, at 30 minutes and also increased again at 60 minutes so um, we'll see at 120 minutes if the increase stays or if I or if they start to drop off so um, I don't feel a whole lot different I got a, uh, I had some hunger before I did this video and the hunger has subsided um, and mental clarity that kind of stuff um, I feel I can't say that I feel anything has drastically changed so um, we reached the 120 minute mark so I'm gonna go ahead and get the final ketone and glucose reading and I'll let you know my final thoughts 4.1 millimolar 4.1 millimolar and that is 120 minutes post consumption moving on to the ketone test so the blood ketones have come down a little bit and that's 1.9 millimolar 1.9 millimolar 120 minutes post consumption so one of my final thoughts on perfect ketos exogenous ketone uh, I think they're definitely a go I mean we saw the taking and consuming exogenous ketones are um, not proven by anything here we did see a, an increase in blood ketones which is to be expected since we consumed ex exogenous ketones so um, but I did experience uh, a little bit um, of hunger suppressant and a little bit more energy so I have not eaten anything at all today I was fasted plus the ketones um, and I still haven't eaten anything obviously throughout the course of this test and I feel great I have more energy I have a little bit more mental clarity more focus so um, as far as that goes I would say that the supplement it, you know has benefit so in regards to you know being knocked out of ketosis if you're gonna eat a bunch of carbs or eat a carb heavy meal and you're out of ketosis or if you have cheat days and then you take ketones and make ketones appear in your blood if you are in ketosis um, you know technically there's ketones in your on your blood but um, that's all exogenous ketones so endogenous ketones when your body is producing its own ketones when you are actually in a state of ketosis and your liver is producing ketones and your body is using them um, exogenous ketones don't do that so you could be a, a non-keto person you know lifestyle person you can live a non-keto life and you can consume exogenous ketones and make ketones appear in your blood but you are not producing ketones you are not in a state of ketosis so um, as far as that goes you know that in my opinion that's complete um, hogwash so um, but as far as um, doing you know increasing your, your blood ketone level um, I did get a little bit of satisfaction at my hunger suppressant it did it did suppress my hunger hormones it also gave me a little bit more um, a little bit more focus a little bit more energy so as, as far as that goes uh, I did see myself I, I did see an improvement we did see a rise in blood ke blood ketones and um, it didn't affect blood sugar levels significantly so for me um, it's definitely a go so um, I'm gonna use these pro I'm gonna continue to use this product the way I always use it which is uh, every you know supplemental in the morning in my coffee on occasion from time to time um, I make my coffees with ghee uh, I have a video out there so t typically I make my coffees with ghee MCT oil powder and co um, sometimes coconut oil it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling so um, but as far as exogenous ketones um, um, they definitely do what they're supposed to do my ketone levels went up and um, so for that I give it a thumbs up and we're gonna say that yes, it is definitely keto, so, at least for me. So, um, you guys, leave me leave me some comments. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I'm gonna keep rolling these videos out. If you got any products that you want to see, let me know, and I'll get those to you. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys.